It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my student? Hi everyone, it's us, Miss Nichols Neighborhood, back here. It's me, Miss Nichol, and I'm joined again by my sister Kaylee Nichol, the best teacher helper there is. Yay! We're excited because today we are going to start working on learning how to use doubles to add. Okay? Now, before we're like, what? What are we doing? What are we doing? It's okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We're going to take this one step at a time, okay? We are using doubles to add. I'm going to explain all what it means, that what doubles are, how we use them to add, all that good stuff, okay? Now, to really understand using doubles to add, it might be important to know why we'd want to know this. Well, as you continue to progress through different grade levels, continue to learn more and more in math, you'll eventually mm -hmm. see larger and larger addition problems. One day, you might even see a problem that looks like this. Wow. I know. That's a lot of numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. And even though we're not doing that right now, we're going to teach and learn the strategies to become quicker and quicker or more fluent with addition, okay? And to be able to work up to knowing how to solve those larger problems, we need to learn our doubles. We're going to find out more about that is. We need to learn our doubles so it's easier and easier and we're quicker and quicker at solving those problems, okay? Now, when you're doing an addition problem, you have numbers that you are adding together. Mm -hmm. Those are called add-ins. If you're able to follow along with us, let's practice saying that word. You ready, Kaylee? Yeah. We're going to do our best. We're all going to try to say add-ins. Ready? Add-ins. Okay. Good. Add-ins. Add-ins are the numbers you're adding together. So looking at this first problem, it says 1 plus 1 equals. The numbers you're adding together, or the add-ins, are 1 and 1. Those are the add-ins, the numbers you're adding together, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you happen to have an addition problem where the add-ins, the numbers you're adding, are the same number, meaning you're adding a number to itself, and it's the same, that's called a doubles problem. Oh. Let's do our best. If you're able to follow along and say it with us, let's do our best to try and say doubles. Doubles. Papa? Good. Doubles. Papa. Doubles. Good. So that means, like we said, the add-ins or the numbers you're adding together are the same number. I have examples of doubles problems up here. This first problem says 1 plus 1. That's the same number. 1 and 1. It's the same number. That means it's a doubles problem. Oh, the same number. Look at the next one. 2 plus 2 equals. Those are the add-ins are the same number. Both of the add-ins are the number 2, meaning this is a doubles problem. Let's try the next one. The next one says 3 plus 3 equals. Those again, the same number, the same add-in. Okay, so that means it's a doubles problem. The same for the rest of these problems. Look, 
4 plus 4 equals, you're adding the same number. Both of the atoms are 4. It's a doubles problem. Or 5 plus 5 equals, that's a doubles problem. Same atoms. 6 plus 6, same atoms, doubles problem. 7 plus 7, same atom, doubles problem. 8 plus 8, same number you're adding, same atoms you're adding, it's a doubles problem. 9 plus 9 equals, again, doubles problem, it's the same number. And finally, 10 plus 10 equals, the atoms are the same, it's a doubles problem. So these are all examples of doubles problems. Now, if the atoms are different, meaning the numbers you're adding are not the same, they're different, like let's say you now all of a sudden had 1 plus 2 equals, it's no longer a doubles problem. Look, 1 plus 2. The atoms are different numbers. That means it's not a doubles problem, okay? Just like if you had 3 plus 5 equals. Are these numbers the same? Or are they different? Probably. They're different. That's not a doubles problem. Doubles problems, the add-ins or the numbers you're adding are the same, okay? Now, before we start solving doubles problems, I really want to make sure we have in our head what a doubles problem looks like. So, Kaylee, being the best teacher helper here, she is going to hold up some problems. We're not solving them, but she's going to hold up a problem. And we're going to look to see if the add-ins or the numbers you're adding are the same. If so, that means they're a doubles problem. We give a thumbs up. But if the add-ins or numbers you're adding are different, not the same, it's not a doubles problem, we're going to give it a thumbs down. Okay? We'll do the first two as an example. You ready, Kaylee? Go ahead and hold all these up for us. Okay. This problem, nice and high, says 2 plus 2 equals. And we've already learned that whether you're doing addition horizontally, side to side, or vertically, up and down, it's still addition. Let's see. 2 plus 2 equals? A4. Oh, don't give the answer yet. But we're not even solving it, we're just looking. Are the add-ins, the number you're adding, are they the same number? Yes. Yeah. They are both the number 2. So that means it is a doubles problem. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, will you show us our next one? We'll do one more example, then Kayla and I will be nice and quiet. If That way, if you're following along at home and want to try it, you'll have your chance. Nice and high. Okay, this problem says 6 plus 7 equals. A. Not yet. Don't get it. We don't need to solve it. We're just thinking. Are the add-ins the same number? Are 6 and 7 the same number? No. No. That means we get a thumbs down. It's not a doubles problem. Not this time. Okay, go ahead and give us our next one. Kaylee and I will remain nice and quiet, so that way if you're able to follow along at home, you can make your own choice, your own answer, if it's a doubles problem or not a doubles problem. Okay. Good. So as you can see, this problem says 5 plus 5 equals. We're going to be quiet. You're thinking in your head. Are these numbers the same or are they different? Hmm. We're being quiet. Okay, if you were able to follow along at home, hopefully you were able to decide. Keep that answer. We're going to check it. So 5 plus 5 equals, those are the same numbers, the same add-ins. That means it's a doubles problem. Okay. If you were following along and thought it was a doubles problem, way to go. You got it right. Let's yeah. try another one. Ooh. 
Ooh, our next problem says 3 plus 3 equals. Well, to be quiet, give you a chance to think. Doubles, same numbers, or not doubles, different numbers. Okay, hopefully that was enough time for you to decide. If not, you can go ahead and pause it. Looking at our problem, 3 plus 3 equals 3 and 3 are the same number. 3 and 3, that means it is, yes, a doubles problem. Yeah. If you were following along and thought it was a doubles problem, great job. Let's keep going. I'll be a boy. Okay, our next problem reads 3 plus 4 equals. Okay, fine. We're going to give them quiet time to think because we're not solving it. They're thinking it through. Think, is it doubles or not doubles? Same add-ins or different add-ins? Okay, hopefully you had some think time. Let's look at it. 3 plus 4. Four. Hmm. Are three and four the same number or are they different numbers? They're different numbers. That means this is not a doubles problem. Not a doubles problem. They're different add-ins. Okay, let's try the next one. Doing a great job. Just a few more problems to check if they're a doubles problem or not, and then we'll move on to solving some doubles problems. Okay, our next problem. The next problem says 2 plus 3 equals. If you're able to follow along, be thinking, are 2 and 3 the same add-end, the same number, that we get a thumbs up because it's a doubles problem? Or are they different numbers that it's not a doubles problem? Kaylee and I will be quiet while you think. Okay, hopefully you had some think time. Keep that answer, okay? 2 plus 3. 2 and 3 are not the same number. The add-ins are different. It's not a doubles problem. Okay, if you got it right, nice job. Keep it up. Let's try the next one. I bet good. Mm -hmm. Two more. We got it. Ooh, okay. Our next problem says four plus four equals. Do you think are four and four the same number or different numbers? Okay, hopefully you had some think time. Let's go ahead and check. Four plus four, four and four, that's the same number. The add-ins are the same, meaning yes, this is a doubles problem. Yes. Okay, one more to check, and then we're going to start solving some Ooh. doubles problems. One more. One more. This problem says 4 plus 1 equals. Think in your head, are the add-ins the same number that it's a doubles problem, or are they different that it's not a doubles problem? We'll give you some think time. Okay, hopefully that was enough think time. If not, pause us or go back and keep practicing as you need to. But this problem okay. says 4 plus 1. 4 and 1, not the same number, meaning the add-ins are different. This is not a doubles problem. Okay, thanks Kaylee. Great job modeling those. Ooh, shake out your hand, your arm. Okay, you guys have done an amazing job so far. We now hopefully are starting to recognize what doubles are. 
And it's when the atoms are the same number. Okay, the atoms are the same. Now, we're going to go ahead, go through, solve our doubles problems. We're going to add these up, solve it. Hint, afterwards, there's even a song that Ms. Nickel and Kaylee are going to try their best to sing that hopefully you'll start learning or put on repeat so you can right. keep getting those doubles facts, those doubles math facts in your head. So as you continue in math, you'll be able to solve doubles problems that much faster and even larger addition problems that much faster, okay? Yeah. So Kaylee, let's go ahead. I'm gonna give you these cubes. You're gonna help us, okay? Mm -hmm. We have some number snapping cubes here. I'm gonna break them apart just so we'll be ready to add them together to help us, okay? okay. If you don't have these at home, that's okay. And if you want to follow along, maybe you can grab some paper you have or use some crayons to add them together or anything else you want to help us or while you're following, help show you're adding together okay. to solve these problems. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay. I'm going to read our first problem. We'll add them together using cubes and solve that doubles problem. We're going to do that for all these double facts we want to learn. Okay? Mm. Our first problem, I'd love for you to read along with me if you can. Okay? I'm going to say it at least twice, so if you don't get it the first time or want to just listen to it the first time, that's okay. Our first problem says 1 plus 1 equals... Let's read that again. It says 1 plus 1 equals. Now, if you're following along at home, you can grab what you're using to add them up, or if you want to just follow along with Kaylee and I, that's okay. totally okay. Go ahead, Kaylee. How about I grab one cube and you grab one cube? She's got one. I got one. I have one. One. Now let's okay. add them together. Let's see. One plus one. I do. Let's see if that's right. One plus one makes one, two. Two. So one plus one equals two. Two. Good job, Kaylee. And if you're following along at home and got two, amazing job, okay? So I'm going to write that up here. One plus one equals two. And two. Don't worry, that's just a sneak peek of the song you'll get to see later. Okay, let's go ahead and read our next math problem. Again, I'll read it twice. That way, if you're able to follow along at home or wherever you're doing remote learning, that'd be awesome if you could practice reading it out loud. Okay. It says 2 plus 2 equals. Let's read that again. 2 plus 2 equals. Okay, go ahead, grab two cubes. I'm grabbing two cubes, and let's add them together. Good, so I have two cubes. Kaylee has two cubes. One, two, one, two. Let's add them together. And now let's see how many I had. I had two. I'm going to keep counting on. What comes next? Three, four. Four. So two plus two equals four. Four. Let's write that up there. Keep it in our heads. Keep it up here on the board for us to remember. Two plus two is four. Okay. Let's get ready for our next problem. Our next doubles fact for learning, well, solving and learning, says 3 plus 3 equals. Let's do that again. So that way, maybe if you're just warming up the first time, you can follow along and try your best to read it out loud too. It says 3 plus 3 equals. Okay, Kaylee, take your three cubes. And I'll take my three cubes, and I'll hold it up and show it. I have three. One, two, three. Kaylee, how many do you have there? Five, two, three. Three as well. Three plus three. Let's add them or join them together. <gasps> Yay! One, two, three. Three plus three 
Wow. Yeah. Let's see how many in all we have now. Three plus three more. Let's keep counting on. After three comes four, five, five six. six. So what was the last number I counted? I said six. six. Good. So three plus three equals six. Six. Yay! Three plus three is six. Yeah, yeah, good day. Yeah, we're gonna do the whole song later. Just give me a sneak peek. Keep you, keep you watching. Keep you learning. Okay, our next doubles math fact we're learning reads four plus four equals. Let's go ahead and read that again. It says four plus four equals. Okay, let's go ahead and learn it and solve it. Here's four for you. And then I have my one, okay. two, three, four cubes. Let's go ahead, four, four, let's add it together. We joined together. Here was my four. And then let's keep counting or adding on after four. Okay. Like we've been practicing counting or adding on after four. Keep adding on is Five, six, six seven, eight. Eight. So four plus four equals eight. Eight. Yes. Hopefully your eyes are somewhat able to see it. Or if you're following along at home, hopefully you also got four plus four equals eight. Eight. Four plus four is eight. Okay. Let's read our next doubles fact that we're going to be solving and learning. It says five plus five equals. I'm going to read that again. Five plus five equals. Okay, here's your five cubes. Here's my one, two, three, four, five cubes. Ready to add it together? Join them together. We're adding, we're adding. Yes. Okay. Here were my five. Now let's keep adding on or counting on. After five, what's the next number? What comes next? Six, Six seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. ten. So five plus five equals ten. ten. Yes. Five and five make ten, ten, my friend. Good. Five plus five equals ten. Ten, yeah. Awesome. Wow, you guys are doing a great job. We're halfway ten. through our doubles facts. We're solving, we're learning it. Let's keep going. Don't worry, there's a song to look forward to at the end, okay? <laughs> our next math facts reads six plus six equals. I'm going to read that again. Six plus six equals. Ooh. Okay, Kaylee. Here are your six cubes. Hang on to it. We're going to add. And then I have my one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. Let's go ahead. Let's add them together. Six okay. plus six equals. Let's see. So here are my six. Ooh. Now let's add on or count on Kaylee's. What number comes after six? Seven, that's it. eight, nine, nine, ten, eight. eleven, yeah. twelve. Whoa. Six plus six equals twelve. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a big one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Six plus six equals twelve. I left. Da, 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 da. Wow. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Six plus six equals twelve. Okay. Man, we are solving and learning a lot of doubles facts. We're doing a great job. We'll have plenty yeah. of time to keep practicing and learning these. Let's go on to our next doubles math. Fact, it says seven plus seven equals. Again, seven plus seven equals. OK, 
Okay, let's solve it. I'm going to give you your 7, Kaylee. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hang on to those. And then I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hey. 7. And I have 7 and 7. Let's add or join them together. Hit me. 7 plus 7. Right there. Here are my... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's keep counting or adding on Kaylee seven. What number comes after seven? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Oh my goodness, it keeps getting larger and larger. Seven plus seven equals fourteen. I'm just going to double check that because it doesn't hurt to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Yep. Seven plus seven equals fourteen. Yeah. Seven plus seven equals fourteen. Okay. Woo. We only have three more doubles math facts to solve and learn. Let's keep going. Our next one says 8 plus 8 equals. Again, 8 plus 8 equals. Okay, let me get you 8, Kaylee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hang on to that. Let me get myself 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I have 8. You have eight. Now it's time we add or join them together. Here it comes. Yes. Okay. Here were my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep counting or adding on. Let's add on Kaylee's eight. What comes after eight? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yes, 8 plus 8 equals 16. 16. Wow, I know we're getting some high numbers here. Big math, but we're doing it, Ooh. okay? 8 plus 8 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. That took me a while. That's why we count on or add on like we've been learning. But, yep. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at us go. 8 plus 8 is 16. Okay, we got two more math facts to solve and learn. Then we'll get to hear me, Miss Nickel, trying to sing a song. <laughs> Yay! Our next one says 9 plus 9 equals. Let's read that Ooh. again. 9 plus 9. 9 equals. Okay, let me give you 9, Kaylee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Hang on to those. Let me make sure I have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9. Kaylee has 9. Now we're going to add them together. Ready? Heck yeah. Here we come. We're joining or adding together. <gasps> yes. Here were my nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's keep counting or adding on. Add on the next nine. I know I already have nine. What number comes after number nine? I keep counting or adding on. What number is after nine? Eight. Ten. Ten. Gotta be careful. Eleven. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18. I see. Oh my goodness. 9 plus 9 equals 18. I see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I see. 18. I'm really glad we're learning how to count and add on. It's taking me forever to double check these by counting all of them. That's why we learned to keep counting and adding on. But 9 plus 9 equals 18.
Oh, one more math fact to solve and learn. And then we're going to do our best to learn a song here. Right. Our next math fact reads 10 plus 10 equals. Again, 10 plus 10 equals. Ooh. Okay, let me give you 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to double check that one. This is 10. Now let's see how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10. Kaylee has 10. Let's add or join them together. Here they come. 10 plus 10. Whoa, right there. Whoa. Hopefully this is still in the camera. Just kidding. I know it's <laughs> going to be a big number. But look, I had my 10 right here. I'm holding it. And then let's keep counting on. Adding on. Okay. What number comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 18 19, 20. Wait, wait. Oh my goodness. 10 plus 10 equals yeah. 20. 2, 0, 20. Ooh. Wow, that was a big number there. 10 plus 10 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wait, wait. Wow. You guys, if you're following along or even just watching, learning yeah. through with us, you guys did a great job solving and going through with us all these doubles math facts and problems we're learning. Now, we've spent some time solving these problems, okay? As you can see, it would take me a while to have to constantly double check 10 plus 10 is it really equal 20. Ideally, these are math facts we want to become yeah. quicker and quicker about having in our heads. So that way, whenever we're doing a math problem and it, part of it is like, what's 5 plus 5? We'll quickly, fluently know, I know 5 plus 5 equals 10. So we want to keep practicing, solving, and learning these. Now, I know I'll probably continue to embarrass myself on YouTube and the internet, but I do it for the class. I do it for us on our learning, guys. I'm going to do my best to put this to a song that I've been trying to learn. Ooh. Yeah, a song. Hopefully, you'll be okay. No, won't, my voice won't bother you too much. Just get it in your head so you can continue to learn these math facts, okay? Get my singing voice ready. Here we go. You mean a good listener? Yeah. Okay, my first time doing the song. Here I go. These are the doubles. 1 through 10, adding numbers to themselves. These are the doubles. 1 through 10, adding numbers to themselves. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. Time to concentrate. 4 plus 4 is 8. 5 plus 5 is 10, my friend. 6 plus 6 is 12. 7 plus 7 is 14. 8 plus 8 is 16. 9 plus 9 is 18. 10 plus 10 is 20. These are the doubles, 1 through 10, adding numbers to themselves. These are the doubles, 1 through 10, adding numbers to themselves. <sighs> thank you, Kaylee, thank you. I'm yet again filming myself singing. This is great. Okay, now that I'm confident <laughs> once singing, I'm only going to ask that we go through this one more time. The rest of the times, as you're learning this, please feel free to rewind and sing it. But if you feel comfortable, do your best to sing along with me, okay? One more time, and that'll be it for today.
I want you to keep practicing these double smacks, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we go. And it starts out like this. We say what these are, how it's one through ten, how they're adding to themselves. Ready, set, go. Here I go. At least sing along if you can for the answers. Okay, my turn, ready? Yeah. Okay. These are the doubles, one through ten, adding numbers to themselves. These are the doubles, one through ten, adding numbers to themselves. One plus one is two, two plus two is four, three plus three is six, four plus four is eight. Time to concentrate. Four plus four is eight. Five plus five is ten, my friend. Six plus six is twelve. Seven plus seven is fourteen. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Ten plus ten is twenty. These are the doubles. One through ten, adding numbers to themselves. These are the doubles. One through ten, adding numbers to themselves. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Now, hopefully that's really in your head, okay? okay? You'll continue to see throughout your learning throughout the week where you're going to be practicing solving and learning all about doubles facts is to help you become more and more fluent or quicker with using these common addition problems, okay? Well, now that we've ended on a song, that's really all that I have for this Miss Nichols Neighborhood lesson, okay? <laughs> so thank you all for watching and learning no matter where you are. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.